Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the next topic in chapter 1 that is introduction to geotechnical engineering, basic definitions and their relationships. Coming to the next topic, it is dealing with the different methods to find the water content and specific gravity. Coming to the first determination that is the water content. So what do you mean by water content? We already have learnt in the earlier chapters. Water content of the soil is an important parameter which is controlling its behaviour. It is a quantitative measure of the wetness of soil needs. The water content of soil can also be determined to a high degree of precision and it also involves only mass which can be determined more accurately than the volumes. So the water content of the soil has to be determined as a routine matter in most of the other tests because it will determine the strength of the soil on which we are going to construct the different type of geotechnical engineering structures. So the uh, water content of the soil can be determined by the following methods. We have many methods like oven drying method, torsional balance method, pyknometer method, sand bath method, alcohol method, calcium carbide method and radiation method. Now, let us know very briefly about how to find the water content using these different type of methods. So, this is the oven drying method. Uh, uh, all these methods you will be seeing in the uh, respective laboratories in your colleges. So, in this method what we are going to do, this oven drying method is a standard laboratory method and it is very accurate method compared to other methods. So, according to IS 2720 part 1, 1973, the mass of the sample should be taken to an accuracy of 0.04%. So, the quantity of the sample to be taken for the test will depend upon the gradation and the maximum size of the particles and the degree of the wetness of the soil. Like, what is the degree of wetness of soil? So, the drier the soil, the more shall be the quantity of the specimen. This point should be remembered. Coming to the next method that is torsion, torsion balance method. So the infrared lamp and the torsion balance moisture meter is used for rapid and accurate determination of water content. This is the equipment how it looks. Even this is a laboratory method. So this equipment has two main parts. One is infrared lamp and the other one is torsional balance. The infrared radiation is provided by a 250 watt lamp built in the torsion balance for use with the alternative current of 220 to 220 volts for 50 cycles single phase main supply has to be used this method is uh, followed by the is uh, 2720 part 2 1973 coming to the next method that is pyknometer method so uh, how pyknometer method is done this is the equipment which is used in this method. The pyknometer is nothing but a glass jar of about 1 litre capacity and it is fitted with a brass conical cap by means of a screw type cover as shown in the figure. The cap has a small hole of 6 mm dia at its apex here at the top. A rubber or fibre washer can be used which is placed between the cap and the jar to prevent the leakage. So there is also a mark on the cap and also on the jar. The cap is screwed down to the same mark such that the volume of the pyknometer used in the calculation will remain constant. So, this pyknometer method is used for the determination of water content and also be used only if the specific gravity of solid particles is known. This point should be noted. When pyknometer method is used, only when specific gravity of solids of the particles is known, then only we have to prefer this method. Coming to the next method that is sandbar. A uh, sand bath method is a quick method for determining the water content of a soil sample. It is a field test because we don't need any specific expensive equipment for this type of test to be performed. We only need a small vessel as shown in the figure or a container to take some soil sample and calculations of this method are very similar to the oven dry method. It's very simple. As we have already seen oven dry method is very sim similar to that method. The next method is alcohol method. It is a rapid method for determining the moisture content. Though very less accurate, it is more suitable for a field test because for a field test 100% uh, accuracy is not necessary. The method shall not be used if the soil contains a large proportion of clay, gypsum, 
calcareous matter for organic matter. This is a point you have to remember. The next method is calcium carbonate method. This test is done mainly to determine the water content in soil by calcium carbonate method as per IS 2720 part 2 1973. It is a method for rapid determination of water content from the gas pressure as we have seen this. Gas pressure developed by the reaction of calcium carbide with the free water of the soil. From the calibrated scale, here you can see the calibrated scale of the pressure gauge, the percentage of water on the total mass of wet soil is obtained and the same is converted to the water content or dry mass of soil by where we can find out the water content. The sample. Coming to the next method that is radiation method. Radioactive isotopes are used in this method to determine the water content. A device which is containing a radioactive isotope is used such as cobalt 60 which is placed as a form of a capsule which is lowered in a steel casing. Next, steel casing has an opening from where the rays can come out. Another casing consists of detector which is placed in the opening. So here, neutrons are emitted from radioactive materials, we all know that. So hydrogen atoms in water cause the scattering of neutrons. These neutrons strike with hydrogen atoms and they lose energy. The loss of energy released is proportional to the water content. This is also one type of method to find the water content. Coming to the next determination, that is specific gravity determination. Specific gravity of solid particles is determined by the various laboratorial uh, experiments uh, and these are uh, these are follow. These are as follow. So, few methods are like density bottle method, micrometer method, measuring flask method, shrinkage limit method, and jar gas jar method. What do you mean by density bottle method? Here, this is density jar density bottle method is used to determine a specific gravity of fine grain soil uh, as per IS 2720 part 3, section 1, 1980. So, specific gravity is the ratio of the rate in air of a given volume of a material at the standard temperature we have to consider to the weight in air of an equal volume of distilled water at the same stated temperature. This is the equipment which is used in the density bottle method. Coming to the pycnometer method, the pycnometer is used for the determination of specific gravity of soil particles of both fine grain and also coarse grain. The determination of specific gravity of soil will help in calculation of void ratio and also degree of saturation and other different soil properties. Coming to the measuring flask method, uh, measuring here in this method, we are using a measuring flask of 250 ml or 500 ml capacity with a graduation mark at that level. It is fitted with an adapter for connecting it to a vacuum line for removing the intact air. This method is very similar to the density bottle method. About 80 to 100 grams of common dry soil is required in this method. This method is very suitable for fine grain and also medium grain soils. Gas jar method. In this method, a gas jar of about 1 liter capacity is used. Here, the gas jar is fitted with a rubber bump. The gas jar serves as a pycnometer. This method is also very similar to the pycnometer method. Thank you.